Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's cooking back at you today with another video. All right, what we got here today, we're going to be making us some chicken and beef enchilado casserole. That's what we got here today. We got our chicken here. We don't put in our air fryer. We're going to go ahead and pull the meat off the bones and chop it up. They go our enchilado sauce right here. We got a whole onion right here. Here's our ground beef. Here's our cheese right here. And our tortillas is behind us. So we're going to go ahead and get this party started. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to go ahead and pour a little oil in that pot there. And let it come up the temp. We're going to get our meat to cooking. All right, y'all. Get our meat in there and get it to cooking. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break this up a little bit. I think I pulled a little bit too much grease on it. That's all. All right. I can drain this when it cooks. No big deal. Just go ahead and loosen it up some. All we're doing is breaking it up into little chunks. We don't want no big chunks in it. Oh yeah, I had a video. Somebody left me a comment saying I talk too much in my video. Huh. And I know which one that was that they said I talk too much in. It's been about two years ago when I made that video. I went back and I looked at it. And I kind of said to myself, yeah, I did kind of talk a little too much, but that's all right. I was explaining what was needed to be done. So if you don't explain what needs to be done, yeah, you can see me cooking, but you'll get more understanding with somebody telling you at the same time too. But it is what it is. We're going to keep doing our thing. Can't please everybody. Trust that. You cannot please everybody. Go ahead and let this go ahead and cook a little bit. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and drop a little all purpose seasoning in there right quick. Drop some of that in there. Season it up a little bit. And when this all get done, we're going to go ahead and drain this juice off of him as well. This grease. Still see a little pinkness in it, so we're going to go ahead and get all of this here cooked well. We're going to add a little salt with that. A little salt on that there. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and uh, drain this in, turn our stove off, and go ahead and drain this in, and get the, pulling the meat off the bones off our chicken. You see, it's a, most of it's about no cook down. I can let it cook a little bit more and just let it go ahead and all cook out of there. That's what I'm going to do. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get started on our chicken. We're going to pull this skin here off. Pull this skin off. We're gonna go ahead and get this meat off of this bone, these bones here, and chop this chicken up, and we'll be by catching. All right, y'all, we got our chicken cut up right there. We're gonna go ahead and pot that up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our beef and put it put it in a pot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and set our tortillas in there and see how they're gonna set. So what we're going to end up doing, 
we're gonna cut two tortillas in a half because we're gonna put half right here and half over here so i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right quick we're just gonna cut two of these in half so our next layer we'll already have two cut cut them in half like that there so now i can cover this side like that there and i can cover this side over here like that there so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and uh spray our pan and we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and pull my uh, enchilada sauce out the can instead of putting it in a bowl and dipping it out. And uh, we're going to do it like that there, y'all. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and spray it. We're going to also pour a little at the bottom. Get my brush. Just brush it around like that there. Just like that there. I need something to put this on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set our tortito like so. Just like that there. And we're gonna cover this corner over here like that with the, with the one we cut in half. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and add a little beef down. Yeah, like I said, I used to work at Taco Bell. And they got some green sauce. Man, that green sauce, no, it tastes good. Add a little chicken with that right here. Spread it out a little bit. Add so. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pour a little sauce on top. Try not to waste it, like I'm doing. Gotta get me something to sit this down on. I'll be right back. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add us a little onion. Got some onions on this right here. Like that. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna add up some cheese. Just like this right here. Make sure you get all in them corners. Then what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back. We're gonna add us another layer. I'm gonna do it on this side this time. Just like that. And we're gonna come along. We're gonna put that corner piece there. Like that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our red sauce. Pour it on it like that there. We want to cover the whole thing, y'all. So we get our brush. Do the rest as well. Now, what we're going to do, add our beef. Just like this right here. I don't think I want to make three layers. I think I'm going to just do two layers, y'all. I think I'm gonna just do two layers. So the top here is gonna be kind of a little heavy on meat here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just do two layers. Get that meat all in the cover it good. My stove don't came up the temp. I got it shot on 375. All right. All right, we're going to get our chicken on next. Yes, sir. 
This one got extra meat on it, huh, boy? I knew I was going to make two layers. I'd have put more meat at the bottom. But that's all right. I still get it all on there, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I still get it all on there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to come with our onions. Come with our onions, just like that there. That's enough onion. We're going to go ahead and dump some red sauce on top of that. All right. Get this cone in here. All right, y'all. Now we're going to go ahead and put our cheese on. We're gonna go ahead and stick this on in the oven. So in the oven. Get it covered real good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wish I knew how to make that green sauce. Sure do, boy. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get this on in the oven. We're going to leave it in for about 25 to 30 minutes. And we'll be back at you. Our chicken enchilada, uh, enchilada beef, beef and chicken enchilada just come out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some parsley on it. Sprinkle a little parsley on it. That on there a little bit, get a little bit of that on it. Alright, that's enough of that. We're gonna let it cool off about five, ten minutes. We're gonna cut up in, into it, see what we got going on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Here's our chicken and beef enchilada right here. See what we got right here. Oh boy, it tastes good. Yes, sir. 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 Move this one out the way. Bring that back in in the pitcher. Bring it down, son. All right, y'all. Y'all like the video? Share it. Put a thumbs up. Everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.